my dear Aries. This is a love reading, a prediction for the month of March with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And this will be a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you that this side is you, it might as well be the person or the situation you are dealing with. And I usually read for the empath side of the story within this dynamic, but also remember that the other person holds up a mirror of your shadow. So use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. I can also recommend that you watch the previous love reading for February because that is the energy right now and this will be the prediction for March. And I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis. So uh, when I open your deck here I see the King of uh, Wands with the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So it's something that previous have given you uh, excitement or passion that you have lost interest in here. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light. And here we have um, a <laughs> king of uh, cups with the ace of wands in the upright position. So this person still uh, seems to be keen on you. It can be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, but can be any sign really just shows a person that um, has feelings for you, but might be a, a little bit uh, a martyr or a victim or um, uh, dramatic in some way with the card being in the reversed. Uh, so I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have the eight of cups uh, in the reverse with the ace of wands in the reverse. It almost seems like this is someone that you have tried to get over or you have tried to put uh, space between you two because you lost interest or you didn't want to uh, put any more effort into this uh, situation. But with eight of cups in the reverse, it can be a little bit boomerang energy that you want to break free but you're finding yourself back maybe starting to long for the person or uh, maybe feeling like you could forgive them and, and then the whole thing starts over so six elements seven of uh, coins in the reverse with the ace of wands um, this is some kind of uh, restless energy uh, maybe you, we are feeling that we are wasting time uh, I I don't know which party, maybe it's the, uh, the King of uh, Cups that feel like the time is being wasted and maybe pushing to uh, have conversations with you or uh, come in contact with you or, or start anew or at least have some kind of quarrel <laughs> with you. Okay, so. Uh, okay, <laughs> it was just done there. That was quick. Uh, Aries is usually very quick and... Uh, it's very practical reading. Uh, so I will just tune in for a few seconds here to you and your energy and this person most on your mind and the love situation between you two. Okay. This is the uh, new bottom of the deck and we have the hangman. Uh, so it's um, some kind of stuck energy. Uh, it can be stubbornness, refusing to sacrifice uh, one's point of view or uh, trying an old way that the divine doesn't allow anymore. It can be an old survival strategy that's not allowed anymore. So we're not able to move forward as long as we try this. <laughs> okay. And this is the old bottom of the deck. And here we have the eight of wands. So this um, wanting to communicate uh, wanting to solve things, wanting to uh, sort out misunderstandings, uh, have a new beginning. Um, so uh, it seems like one side wants communication and the other one is saying uh, no or don't want to do the same old, same old thing over, all over again. So uh, this is um, what's on your mind about the person most on your mind. And this is the situation 
with said person and this is what's on their mind about you your feelings towards them the bond between you two their feelings towards you and this is um, your behaviors and attitudes the outcome for march and this is their behaviors and attitudes so uh, we'll start with the situation and we have a two of coins uh, in the reversed so i'm feeling that this is an uncomfortable situation we just want to let it go we just want to drop it like a hot potato uh, because it's too much drama or it's too much uh, maybe the other person is a little bit um, over emotional or too dependent on you or too um too dramatic or um, with the king of cups in reverse it can also be a person being abusive in different ways or using uh, maybe jealousy and other things against you either to make you jealous or them being jealous themselves uh, so it seems like an uncomfortable situation that we just want to let go of and here we have what's on your mind about the other person so you feel like you need to be uh, strong for some reason or sit uh, like on top of your own desires and, and needs so for example if you would want to uh, make peace with this person you try to keep yourself from uh, making peace because you're trying to be strong you're trying to not fall for the old thing or go back into the eight of cups this is also an eight and all the minor arcana eights are connected to this major arcana eight it's about uh, having self-control and um, also being the bigger person because there's an element of maybe you thinking this relationship being destructive for both parties so it's not good for the other person either uh, to to have this relationship this is what's on their mind with you and we have the empress here uh, so uh, i think that they have a big space in their heart for you and they probably feel very at at home with you and maybe thinking that you are the one person that they want to spend their time or their life with uh, so uh, they seem to put you uh, in high regard here with that card and it's two major arcana card and we can see that you have your back turned against each other and it's this two of coins this very wobbly uh, energy so you're probably about to split apart or s like slide apart like two land masses just drifting apart like this and um, this is um, the bond between you two and it's ten of wands and it's in the reverse it's about putting down burdens you had a dream you wanted to reach to this castle but maybe it was too much work or uh, too much drama too much hassle too much um, uh, of everything so we got tired of uh, fighting for our dream so here we just want to uh, put our dream down at the side of the road and continuing without it and uh, this is your feelings and we have a six of wands so six of wands is a nice card and it's connected to the lovers card and it shows that you want to make some kind of win-win situation with this other person um and uh, see here this is their emotions king of <laughs> coins in the reversed uh, so they are being a little bit like sheep with you i'm not meaning the bad one but the one that's the miser <laughs> okay so uh, they are hmm, uh, in the same time when they're holding you in high regard uh, maybe they are not telling you this okay they're keeping it a secret or they're trying to look tough or trying to look like they don't care uh, they might use your passion or your emotions uh, against you and um, I'm feeling like it's almost a contest of who loves one the other one the least okay the one that cares the least wins this person cares a lot but in the same time they have closed uh, their heart it's like closed shop um so we'll see what's about that it might be that the person is showing a lot of um, dramatic emotions but in the same time refuse to show you respect for example i have a lot of insecurities and i was a, a fool uh, so uh, the person i think the person is 
in their own, like inside their own body, they feel like they respect you a great deal, but um, they are very insecure about how this is being reciprocated, like if you love them as well. Uh, so they're being very childish about this and, and not really showing you um, your true value for them. Uh, and um, they might cause uh, like a little bit dramatic scenes. And here with the Six of Wands and the Strength card, you could easily be the bigger person and fix this. But um, the question is if you want to. It seems to be like a big waste of energy to try to get this person to acknowledge uh, that you are important to them. Uh, so... This is your behaviors and attitudes. And we have a seven of cups in the reverse. You don't want to live in an illusion anymore. You don't want to uh, put in effort into a situation that's never going to uh, come with any kind of fruitation or result. Uh, so you want to kind of um, swoop away the, the fog so that you can see clearly what is true about this relationship because probably this person is confusing you uh, you can feel on one hand that they love you and that they will love you forever and on the other hand what they show towards you is uh, that they don't care about you so you think that probably this with their undying love is an illusion and that this how they acting um, is the truth and uh, they acting from their insecurities uh, from this energy it's even the same colors uh, on these two cards the same energy um, so um, you want to be logic in this situation and take their action at face value so this is how they act that means they don't love me or they don't respect me uh, so I don't want to um, um, invest anything more in this uh, um, like castle in the sky it's not for real it's just an illusion this is their behaviors and attitudes and we have the star card in the reversed uh, star is 17 1 plus 7 8 so these are connected uh, these two cards and i'm thinking they want you to save the situation they want you to save the day and that's how they feel loved by them maybe rejecting you or um, um kind of putting you out in the cold a little bit and you anyway are fixing the situation and piecing you back together and then they feel oh I'm so loved and so even when I try to reject this person they fix it so that means that this person really loves me uh, so I'm thinking they are kind of testing you uh, so to um, to kind of um, support uh, their own sense of being worthy of love um, and they, the fact that they have a lot of insecurities, so they are testing you, testing you, testing you, testing you. And you have been very successful in, in being the bigger person and, and showing uh, a lot of love and fixing the situations, being the problem solver here with these cards. But I think the energy has run out for this and uh, you don't want to live in an illusion or a dream. And this person, um, you chasing them or you uh, giving them your all or fixing all the problems that they put up, all the obstacles that they put up for your love, uh, makes them feel uh, loved. But uh, in reality, they are not a person with a lot of hope. Uh, they think that the world is an ugly place and they are not really worthy of love and uh, any time you will abandon them. Um, and with their own fears here, they are creating just that situation. And this is the outcome for a March and it's uh, the magician. So the magician um, here, I'm thinking it's about you controlling your own life. What do you want out of your life? Make that happen. And um, you could easily make a relationship happen with this person probably. You could chase them down the road and convince them again. Uh, but um, is that what you really want? Uh, is it worth the price? We have 10 here, 1 plus 0, 1. So 1, 1, 2. Uh, it's a decision that needs to be made. So I uh, want to see a little bit more what they want to tell you. I'm lost without you. 
I'm walking through the dark night of my soul. Um, they don't have much hope for life or for life being happy or fulfilling. The grass was always greener elsewhere. Um, so they can have a little bit um, uh, Madonna and uh, whore complex here with the Empress that um, they love you, but uh, they might chase after other people. Doesn't mean, matter if you are a boy or a girl, really. It's more that the person that I'm together with, uh, it's a person that I hold in high respect, but I can't really feel super attracted to that person. Uh, and I always need to chase something else. And it's, um, it's a protection mechanism uh, because um, we are putting this person like on a pedestal. We are idolizing this person and we think that we are not worthy of such a person. So we are preparing for the day when they will leave us. So we don't give them all our love. We say we give them kind of all of our respect and we admire them inside of ourselves. Like it's not shown on the surface because it's easy for this person also to cheat and to be with the, um, another person uh, because this is their safety net. I have other people. So when this important person um, abandons me, I will have someone else that can uh, take over and I won't, uh, I won't lose, okay? Uh, sometimes people can outgrow this. Uh, if they can lose their these insecurities and, and realize that you are the person they love and that you belong together, if they can kind of make that leap of faith and, and trust the relationship. Uh, I have seen these uh, situations solve, um, like uh, not entirely uh, because people are still who they are, but um, these um, constant... Uh, dramas that's just um, survival mechanism kicking in doesn't have to be there uh, anymore uh, but uh, um, I'm saying this just because you Ari, seem so competent in this situation so you probably could uh, kind of help this person to uh, get over their insecurities you're a problem solver you can solve their problem your own problems but the question is is it worth it is it how you want to spend your energy uh, so this is what the divine wants to tell you about uh, this relationship and we have separation and it's what we're seeing with the two of coins and the ten of wands here. Mm. They're also saying that this uh, might be your soulmate and you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Um, so I'm not entirely sure on their uh, advice here but the attraction card give me the sense that uh, you could use a lot of this beautiful energy that you're using to fix others' problem to make your own life very uh, beautiful and, and worth living. So then it doesn't matter so much if this person is acting like a big insecure baby or not. And, um, and you can, uh, you know, if, since it's a soulmate, you might uh, uh, love them for the rest of your life, but you don't have to be with them. There's probably other soulmates, other people that you have lived past lives with and uh, had um, uh, beautiful love uh, stories with that you can spend your time with instead. Uh, so you don't have to choose this person to move forward with. Uh, maybe they need to see that their self-destructive uh, behavior and their fears is uh, leading them down the road uh, to facing that exact fear. The thing that they are doing, how they are acting is uh, making them becoming abandoned exactly as they have been fearing that they will be abandoned by you and then this happens uh, so it's very good that we get consequences for our most stupid actions um, and um, uh, for you um, I'm thinking you are sorting out what love is and how much you are willing to to give uh, for love because you probably feel in your heart that this person loves you but you also see in the uh, daily life or their everyday action that they uh, they don't um, really care and um, uh, kind of care for the relationship or maintain or um, give beautiful energy towards the relationship they are rather uh, destroying the relationship and um, 
um, here you might need to take a decision about loyalty. How loyal should, should you be towards a person uh, that's not being really loyal towards you, even if you love this person a lot. Uh, so here we have a sexual union and we saw a lot of ace of wands back and forth in the beginning. Uh, so it might be that this person shows a lot of sexual attraction uh, towards you if you are not um, <clears throat> the Madonna part of this <laughs> situation uh, and um, you want them to uh, show you the true respect because sometimes it can be like this as well that the person really honors you but they pretend like it's an only like a sex only relationship because that's easier for them to handle and it's easier for them to lose um, and you have with the ace of wands that came in reverse a lot for you in the beginning you're probably tired of this uh, and you don't want to uh, continue this on the premises that it's a sex only relationship or that the person is putting themselves in this safe cost and saying well i'm not really in love with you it's just sex um, and if that's not the relationship you want um, then you better ditch uh, this person and if they want a relationship with a person uh, and that where there's love and they are being loved and cherished they actually need to show love and, and cherish back <laughs> so and um, consequences is a good thing for it's easy for people to learn when they get the right consequences if you always save them when they're doing the wrong thing you're teaching them the wrong thing Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. So instead of fighting so much for this relationship, uh, you could go like become like water instead and just see what uh, the river takes you instead of fighting uphill and, and trying to make this person that doesn't cooperate uh, to... Uh, cooperate it seems like a big waste of energy <laughs> okay so my dear Aries <laughs> I hope this helped uh, I would urge you to watch the reading their true thoughts and feelings in the true thoughts and feelings playlist that can probably tell you more about this story or maybe help you with another relationship that's um, um, that's maybe more interesting than this so uh, yeah and also if you want to uh, work more on personal and spiritual growth. I have a membership service and I do collective readings for my supportive uh, members when it comes to uh, personal growth and spiritual growth. I also present all these kind of readings that I do on the channel ahead of time and ads free for the extended members. And for the full members, I also do personal readings. And uh, if you want to check this out, you can subscribe and then check out the join button that appears or go to the link in the description box of this video to find out more. And for my regular viewers, not much have changed except you get more videos from me and the old type of videos arrives a few days earlier than they did before. They are now being posted Thursday to Sunday instead of Tuesday to Friday the following week. And to not miss out of any other content, you can visit my channel. There's a lot of different playlists there with your favorite videos. And if you click the arrow to see more, you will only see the last 12 videos from that playlist. So rather click the headline to see all the videos that the playlist contains. And I also want to thank you so much, Aries, for being on this journey with me. I'm truly grateful uh, for my wonderful, loving and supporting viewers. So... Until next time, take really good care and bye-bye.